Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Underrail, shall we? Well, you know what? This is too hard, and I have to be really careful in dominating because um, I don't want to lead anything to the doorway such that I can't succeed in the fight. And I th I'm going to double check to make sure that I haven't ruined this entry point. So if I go into the building, they can't see me right away, right? So I could come in and go, and they're not aware of me immediately. So that means that we're not locked out of anything with that. But what we do need to do with this character is um, increase our chances of survival. Um, and I thought the best way to get up a level and get more stuff um, when I thought about it was obviously to head on over to Junkyard. I don't know if I could take out this... Oh, he already saw me. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, we need to stun this guy, maybe. That's good. Stunning is always good. Got it. Okay, so we killed this one. We got a you know, oddity. That was very good. That was a nice, clean kill right there. But going this way to get back is very difficult. So um, I think what I'll do is I'll just walk back the safe route, have Pascal heal me up. I'll save it uh, to see if there's more, um, you know. Yeah, there's two over there. That's just not quite in my wheelhouse yet, but I love the experience. And so we'll use that as just a free experience gain by having Pascal heal us up. I'm, I've been using a lot of bandages. I, I think I've been a, perhaps too overzealous with my consumption of resources because I have an embarrassment of riches compared to the previous character, but that's not the way to think about things in dominating. I can't be... Um, I have to be more spendthrift. I can't be as willy-nilly with how I burn through consumables. So let's think about that and let's do that. Because the Azuridais are afraid of fire and we can trigger that with the Molotovs, that is a, a premium item that I need to have for this warehouse. So we'll look to buy some in Junkyard, but also, of course, we're just going to look to level up. If we level up, we get to a spot where um, I can potentially craft some. And I don't know how easy that's going to be, uh, but it'll give me more than I have. All right, let's roll over. Now, it's just going to be a smorgasbord, at least I'm hoping, of... You know, things that I can loot. So let's go in. Um, do I have any... Yeah, I have stuff I want to try to sell anyway. So let's see if we can sell some of this stuff before we go to Junkyard. You always have to basically check um, with the vendors. Because they will only buy a limited amount of items. So I want to be sure that I'm taking advantage of that. And also, just being at Junkyard gives me more opportunities to buy and sell. I'm just walking around with this, like, giant hammer. Alright, yep, they'll buy this and this. Okay, how much? 13? That's not bad. It's bad. I mean, it really is bad. Some of these things would actually be helpful. Uh, oh, that's right. He buys the carapace, and he'll buy um, he'll buy.
buy this. Oh, nice. I'll take it. A little bit of extra cash there. All right. Maybe when I get back from Junkyard 2, the email will be in. Oh, right, wait. Let me see what I have. Do I have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, um... I want to see if he'll buy knives and such. I don't know if he will, but... I got a bunch of, like, just random weapons. Nah, he ain't really into buying it. He will buy this frame. That's a shame. The frame is worth a ton. Who knew? What you got, buddy? Good stuff? I mean, not really, but he's got something. Take me to the docks. Also, of course, if Junkyard doesn't give me everything I need, I can just go exploring underneath in the tunnels and probably find a few things to kill. That will level us up. Man, I could take these. God, that's good. Thank you. Think I can pickpocket the dog? Alright, we'll save it. Make sure that we don't get caught stealing. Well, joke's on us. There's nothing to steal. Alright, we'll take the bullets. Captain Zvana, how you living? Out work. Whoa, she's got a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, she's got um, some more food. I can barely take stuff from her, though. I could take these bullets, and that is about it. That's a shame. I really want that mechanical repair kit, but I can't quite get it. Uh, we'll have to go ahead and take that, and we need to just say, Hey, um, who are you? I need to go to the junkyard. God, that's expensive. Go. I do have to pay, though, um, unfortunately, because I can't make it through the Azura dies to go by foot. Oh, oh, what you got? Shotgun shells, coins. Yeah, I can't take too much from him. Take whatever I can. Alright, let's start to steal from every single person that we can. Ooh, there are, these thieves are like, no, no, no. I wonder if they actually just are harder to steal from because they're in a different town. Like, just everybody in this town has a set level. That would make sense, right? It would be too good, I suppose, if I could just come in here. Uh, and pilfer them all, which is, unfortunately for me, a crying shame. Alright, well, I kleptomaniac got a nice little achievement there. I mean, you know, to be honest, it, a sticky and coin is better than a lot of the things I'm getting around here. Let's roll through here. All right. So let's see about... Can I steal from you? Actually, I can. Sometimes, though, the stuff that you can steal, it's just not even worth anything. She's like, I ain't got nothing. I got mushrooms. Oh, 
Ooh, Black Eel Insignia. That would be sweet, but I can't take it. I could take their bullets. Hmm. All right, what you got, buddy? You won't buy much. What do you want to... What do you want to trade, buddy? Yes, this guy will buy knives and stuff and armor. All right, what is the best melee weapons that I've got? This one. Uh, I need my backup. Buy that. Buy that. Uh, there you go. Okay. Getting a small fortune from this man. I appreciate that. And he has a trapper's belt. This is what we need. We need this utility belt. Two extra utility slots. Uh, this would be amazing for us. How much would this cost me, this utility belt? I don't have enough money. Ow. That's okay. I probably don't want to buy something like that anyway. Wouldn't that be great if I could take all this money? I'm not even going to take his ammo. I'm going to try to save up and, and, buy, and like steal his other stuff. Alright, what you got? Okay, so he'll buy a bunch of ammo. He'll even buy this terrible knife. Don't you love that? Nice guy. Amazing fellow. He sells grenades, which, that's cool. This would be enough to buy the belt if I wanted it. Let's just go ahead and trade that for now. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll keep what we've got. Oh, Mushroom Lady. She'll buy stuff. Got a couple of these. Oh, not enough, though. She's like, I won't give you my my coins for something like that. I understand. All right, let's save it. And let's continue enjoying what this town has to offer. Oh, my. Can I steal from you? I really can. Yes, yeah, Scrapper Insignia. I could take it. Get some experience. That's sweet. All right. I like how I'm just coming up to them like, hey, how you doing? I mean, adrenaline might also be something I can use to win fights like that. take the coins all day long. Junkyard surprise. There's no telling what this might do. That's hilarious. I wonder what skill you'd need to pickpocket from Abram. Like how hard this would be. Kareem, it's me. Can't take it. Okay. Lenny, hey, hey, it's me. Oh, I could take six coins from this dude. That 
that's great. Lenny, I really appreciate your contribution. South Underrail, thanks you. Man, I want that. Alright, bu bullets are always good to take because just full on, you know. I think even though this is, says it's value 300, through the transition process, you know, I'm really only getting 25% of that, right? So 10% is 30, so it's this is worth 70, and this is actually worth 60. Um, so I think the coins might honestly be worth a slightly less, but I just don't have to go through any selling process with it. There's also these fools out front. We can. I'm going to steal, obviously, from every single person that we can. Scrapper Thug. Yeah, that big pile of bullets actually sells really well. Not very valuable, but we'll take it. Oh, man, that's great. Archie! Tremendous. I don't see any of these people selling Molotov cocktails, which certainly disturbs me. What can I do, though? Lock picking, you say. I've got a dab hand. Now, if he sees me lockpicking, is that like instant, I'm, I'm upset with you, or not really? All right, protector of propaganda. I'll take all the propaganda you got. We traded a lockpick for some propaganda, and it gave us experience, so it's great. Hi, there's just a whole bunch of good friends over here. Ooh, that guy's tough. He's like, you can't steal from me. I'm tough. And I have a whole bunch of crowbars to sell people. All right, what you got? Goodness gracious. The windfall. Dios mio, man. That's windfall too, to be honest. How's it going? Mind if I try to take from you? Like, no, I'm a gangster. All right, so the scrapper gangster is beyond me. But, like, regular dudes, like, worker, I should be able to steal from worker. And I can. They're like, I just have a little bit of money and a crowbar. Where's all my money? It's, it's gone. Gort, how you living? All right. He won't buy anything that I have, but he does have Molotovs. Also, Flashbang could be extremely useful. Mm, these are costly.
It's a good start, though. Excuse me, dog. Eddie. Hey. Oh, boy, I could really craft with that. That is not easy to lockpick. At least for me. All right. We're getting there. We'll have to return when we can steal from more people, but it's a huge improvement. All right. Let's see about... Let's go over here. Okay. Thug. Be cool to just be known around. Like, I don't even have a name. I'm just a thug. I wonder what I talk to them about while I'm just walking around and stealing all of their stuff. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. I like this barrel. Me too. Um, oof. This is all good stuff. I want the adrenaline. It could mean all the difference. Heck yeah. Alright. Save it. They're gonna start getting rough with me, so I gotta... Um, intimidate, intimidate. We passed. I intimidate and I take all his stuff. Can I steal from Vince? Hey, Vince has a big gun. Oh, Vince. Oh, I could take nine coins from Vince. Vince is my man. Love your style, Vince. He was loaded. I mean, I guess he's been taking money from people to get into this part of town, so. Amazing. Oh my goodness. Look how worth it this is. A treasure trove of pickpocketing. It seems like pretty lazy fishing. They just stand there and talk over a hobo barrel all day long while the, the automated fishing does itself. Man. Cool. I'll get your knife, buddy. You want your knife? All right. We can sneak in. Sort of. All right. What's up? Catherine... All right, she will buy meh, stuff that I don't want to sell. Um, ah, I don't think I need anything from her. It's just nice to have her. As a resource. I could buy another bear trap. How much is this? I'm getting a bad deal. I'll take it though. Bear traps help me out. This could be everything for me. Plasma core? Whoa. 
I can steal that from you? That's a big one. Let's see how much I actually get for that. That said it was valued at 2400 Um... Let's see how much uh, she'll give me for it in a moment. Oh, this is a thug. I don't know if I can take. Oh, I can take. Fixer. Oh, my gosh. Fixer just has 22 coins. Whoa, Fixer, my man. Um... Ah, uh, that's for chemical pistols, right? Now, if anything, I just need some bandages from you. How much would, like, five bandages be? Oh. The 22 coins is how much they cost, but I need them, so I'll take it. So I stole 22 Stygian coins from him, which basically means I just get um, his bandages for free. These guys. Oh, if I want those dog tags. I want the key card. All right. I want so many things. All right, let's let's talk to her. How much are you gonna give me for this core? Twenty coins. Yes, that's so good. Back to a hundred, baby. All right. So, what do we want to purchase for ourselves, huh? Um, we already stole from all these people around that way. There might be some people down here I didn't take from. Yeah, there are. Oh, and by some people, I mean a lot. Oh, we can go to the casino, too, potentially, and steal in there. Hopper Jim, how you living? 50. Hopper Jim's got 53. Hopper Jim, my man. Yes. Geezer, how you living? Geezer. Geezer had one coin. But I still can't get over Hopper Jim. I'll never forget that. He's the richest guy in town. I haven't seen before. Yeah, can I come in? Sure, sure. Um, 20 ch Charons. Um, I gotta think about this. Okay, so let me save it before I go in. Because that's a, that's a lot of cash. I can't pick through that yet. If I can steal 20, then it's worth it. But if I can't, we got problems. Oh, God. That was a mistake. Forgot about that. Forgot you can't touch the drapes. All right, we're in. All right, here's the guard. Can't steal from him. Elwood. All right, Elwood has um, loaded dice. So, oh, Elwood is left. Barman. All right. This is going to be worth it. It'll be worth it in the long run. Once I can steal from the guards, it gets even better. You're on camera. Taken from everyone's pockets. Oh, come on. Like you wouldn't have done the same. No, Elwood. He's, he's feisty, that Elwood. All right, we're going to have to slow it down and steal from Elwood. I just want his, uh, dice. 
Actually, I can get this key card. I'll get it for the quest. The experience will be better, but I know I need that eventually for the quest, so let's just take it. I believe Abram wants that. And I think the last time I did this, I had to kill the guy. Oh, you can't go in there. Darn. Forgot about that. It was open. I didn't even do anything. Come on. All right. The barman left. He's back now. All right, let's make it happen. Man, that's too bad. I'm suspicious of you, but I've lost all my money, so it doesn't matter. Oh, she has eight coins. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Alright, I just took everything from those shelves. So what I did basically was uh, come back in here. I saved my game and just redid all the pickpocketing so you didn't have to watch me again uh, get caught and have to restart it. So, uh, But in the process, I realized that there was... Uh, I still need to steal from this person. There's some stuff back here and so I stole some things from the shelf. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we got a ton of stuff from this place. We're going to go sell. And I want to buy that belt and some more grenades, I think, probably. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Let me sell the stuff to her. Okay. So she'll... This is what I got. A plasma discharger and a, an emitter. Um, and this is worth 38 coins. So I almost got... No, I... Never mind. I completely got my money back from going into the casino because it was only 20 and then I stole a bunch of stuff, including the guy's key card um, that we can use for a quest later. So this is fantastic. We're absolutely raring to go here. Um, do you sell the belt? Yeah, give me this utility belt. And do you sell anything else? You sell some bear traps. I'll take a grenade. And I probably want to buy those flashbangs. So we're going to wear the belt. Sweet. And we'll put that grenade there. And then um, I can drop over the cocktails. I can even have like throwing knives over here um, if I want. But what I probably would like to do is put flashbangs. Because flashbangs, I believe they're on a different timer. I want as many things on different timers as I can get. Mm, he doesn't sell them. I mean, I could just buy, a, like, a huge grenade. Clear them out even better. 
I wonder if these um, HE grenades, the high explosive grenades, would do more damage to the Azura dies. Um, how much are five of these babies going to cost me? 73 coins. How many do I have? This will leave me with 38. Honestly, I think this is a good trade. Um, oh, I don't even need to trade that, though, because I can sell him uh, some stuff. Okay, he won't buy all of it, but he'll buy a good amount. So I can get it for 54 if I sell him all these bullets that I've got. Oh, I don't need this many standard bullets, do I? Like, what if I sold him half of these bullets? Yeah, there we go. So now I'm at, like... 47 to get five big grenades and I think this is super super worth it the throwing knives are like for pulling one target that's about all they're good for okay now we're stacked we've got some molotovs we've got um some frag grenades and some of these grenades and I think this is a really good position to be in for attempting to clear out that nasty space. Let me just see if there's anybody over here that we can steal from. We also, by the way, have 10 bandages and 16 health hypos. Five flares. We're at full health. Let me just save the game. Take all that. Yep, even more people we can... Well, these are thugs. That we might not be able to actually steal from them, but we'll try. Oh, we can. Oh, this guy's got a footlocker key. We can't take it just yet, but we'll remember this later. Like, once his suspicion has passed, um, we can come back and maybe open up their footlocker. That, these, these might actually be the guys that have the knife, now that I think about it, but maybe not. These bigger bullets just sell really well. That's all we can get. It's fine. Let me see. Can I open this? Hacking? Okay. Yeah. Not easily is the is the answer to that. But, I mean, we are really, really going. Um. Yep. So I've already stolen from all these people. Wow. This was a huge restocking point. All right, let's see. Anything else? Oh, restricted area. Yeah, if I go in there, they'll kill me. Okay. That's good to know. You don't want to just get killed. At least I don't. Dock worker, what you got? You got a coin. We take everything we can get around here. What about you? What you got? Please don't move. Nothing. He's like, I got nothing. I'm not doing very well. I could see that. Let's see if this guy's selling anything good. Alright, so... Oh, he'll buy clothes, actually. Almost all of them. That's cool. You want some clothes? I'll, I'll help you out. Metal armor? Heck yeah. Now we're getting there. Um, I'd love to make metal armor, you know, but... How much is that going to cost me? I don't have enough. Okay. 
Yeah. But that's okay. Do you have anything good? You got Molotovs. How much are all these? Heck yeah. Give me all of them. Sweet. All right. So now um, we're really, really set. All right, fantastic. So I feel like we have got a belt. We've got a bunch of utilities. We stole from a, many, many people in here, and we came out way on top, and we're ready to go back and start doing some more quests at Southgate and finish finding Newton. It, it looked dire for a moment, but with a little bit of restocking, this pickpocketing skill has just transformed this character and also lockpicking and hacking. So I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care.